G'day guys, Mark here, Mudra Bar Electrical and DC Auto Fitouts. Now we've been getting a lot of phone calls lately and we've been doing a lot of inverter installs for customers. A lot of people asking questions about the install and everything too. So we're doing a little video, give you a rundown of what we do and how we go about doing things. Now, we've got the 2600, we're gonna be fitting that today. So we're gonna show you through the steps of what we do when we install these. Now, one of the biggest things that we, we look at is obviously the positioning and layout of how we're gonna do it. So if we have a look inside here, and I will add a little picture because I've already taken a photo, but I have got the batteries out. The battery trays are sitting in there. So that was the original layout of the battery tray. So I've looked at my layout. My plan is I'm going to turn those two battery trays sideways. I'm going to get the inverter mounted across the back wall. You've got to think about other things too. Where's the remote unit going? So we're going to get the remote unit up in the upper cupboard up there. We're going to get it all blended in and we're going to have it fully functional, fully off grid press the button, you don't have to crawl in underneath the unit to turn it on, you don't have to plug into the front of it, it will all be tied in via the actual 240 volt wiring. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to go get this battery configuration changed, we're going to modify the back of this board here, we're going to get this inverter installed, mounted in, and then we'll show you the next step. Come back to you soon. Alright guys, so we've got the inverter mounted, I'll take you through, show you what we've done here. We've actually had to just cut out a little bit of the board, move the fusing over slightly. We've got enough room to stretch it in there. We cut out the back of the board there. We're able to fit the inverter in there, mount it in nicely. Um, now we've got to do all the wiring. So we've got the 12, the data cable, and the 240 to get sorted. Unfortunately, with the 240, it makes it not a DIY for the home guy. Uh, if you're doing a standalone inverter, great, go for it. You can do it, no problems at all. But seek an electrician if you're going to be doing your own 240, or you, if you need to integrate the 240, I should say. Now, it's a couple of things too. So here's a couple of bridging cables. I have made one up there, 95 square cable for this size inverter. You can see it's double insulated cable. 95 square mil is the full cross-sectional area. And we'll make bridging cables for the batteries to go from positive to positive and negative to negative to bridge the two batteries out of that same size cable as well as the actual inverter cables as well. And the other thing to note is fusing. So in your Enerdrive box you will get a mega fuse and mega fuse hole. I've got no fuse sitting there at the moment but we use these and we recommend these because they are proper, proper mechanically bolted connection. We're not relying on just the spring tension of a contact um, you know, circuit breaker where you've got to open and close. So people sometimes say, oh, but what if I blow a fuse? If you blow, if you blow a 300 amp fuse, you won't be replacing because there's a major problem with the system. But it's so reliable, you're not going to have to worry about that. So that's what we use. So I'm going to get this data cable run. I'm going to get all the 12 made. We'll get, uh, get all the batteries back in there. We'll get all the 240 stuff integrated into this van and I'll run you through what we've done and, and why we've done it once we've got this all completed. So I'll come back to you soon. All right guys, got everything installed, everything's working. I'm gonna run you through, show you what we've done, just recap on everything. So if we zoom in here, we well, can see the battery layout. So we've reconfigured those batteries. Batteries were originally facing 90 degrees from where they are. We've reconfigured them side to side. New uh, battery link cables, the main cables for the inverter. Inverter's mounted across the back there. You can see we've got our 240 volt trunked in, well not trunk, but conduited in. We've got an extra GPO that's been added in there. Now that's so that the battery charger gets powered up before the inverter. So when you turn the inverter on, it doesn't try and turn the battery charger on. So that's now wired into there. Uh, we've got everything wired up, plumbed up to the top here, so that's all working. So you can turn it on and off, that way when the couch is all together, you don't have to get in there. And then up the back here also, the 240 volt RCDs have been uh, upgraded, so to speak. You know, an extra RCD has been put in there, so it's all junctioned in properly. So, if you're looking at getting your true off-grid experience with all your 240 volt appliances, give us a call. As you can see, we do a quality professional job and we can cater to suit your needs. Give us a call. Thank you.